sorry if I look a little ashy. I just drenched my face in sunscreen because I'm going to be in front of this window. And, you know, black girls need sunscreen too. Don't get it twisted. It is snowing outside, and I thought I left the snow in Canada since I moved to the States. Um, but I... <laughs> it won't stop snowing here. We got some cozy vibes because it's snowing outside, so I'm wearing my dad's sweater he gave me. Hey guys, it's Angie Rush here, and today's video is another self-love journey week. We have come to week three. That is insane. I already feel like a better spiritual person, especially with next week's task that I'm doing currently with myself. I'm excited so you guys see that, but this week's task was a breakfast task. And if you guys have heard many times, breakfast is supposed to be the best meal of the day. I personally don't even really eat three meals. Like they're like, my meals are just scatterbrained. That's how I would say they are, but I do not eat. So if you guys have heard, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's the day that gets your day started. And this week I am busting that to see if it's true, if breakfast is the best meal of the day, and if it really does improve your day in any way. Let's get into the video. Pause if you haven't yet to go down there and hit that subscribe button and give me a like and comment some videos you would like to see. New videos every Monday, Friday, and your girl threw in bonus videos on Wednesday as you guys are watching today. Okay. So day one was just a flop, but I still came determined. Hello. So we're starting this challenge off horrible. It is basically noon. So this is brunch, but I'm still going to try. We're going to be having breakfast every morning. I mean, I kind of had breakfast already. This morning's breakfast was crackers. I had a whole roll of crackers to myself. So that was my breakfast this morning. So let's hope tomorrow I have a nice, hearty, good breakfast because everyone says breakfast is like the most important meal of the day and it's what gets you going in the morning. And I had those trackers and bro, I'm still exhausted and I still have some homework to get done before my classes. So that's great. Let's just go to day two. I don't want to talk about day one anymore. I have been stressed and overworked with school. So I just want to tell you that it is 545 p.m. and I've only eaten um, some chips so you can probably imagine that I didn't have breakfast today. So day two somehow I don't know how I was determination I went to bed at like 4 a.m. and as you guys know my, my sleep schedule is whack but I woke up at 8 a.m. I got ready washed my face you know got ready brush my teeth and I had some time to make some breakfast. I I went to bed around four to think that I got up on time to eat breakfast is insane. Yesterday I didn't eat breakfast, today I'm gonna eat breakfast, but today I'm determined to sleep at a good time so I can wake up tomorrow and make myself like the bombest breakfast in the world. Okay, let's go. minutes i bet y'all thought i was gonna fail this shit too i ain't wrong i'm not about to fail this week's challenge basically i have vanilla yogurt in here what kind of yogurt i'm eating this yo plain original vanilla yogurt and with the cereal this is the cereal i'm using all in here about to mix that up is that some nice asmr cereal does that make your ASMR buds tingle? I'm gonna put honey. I usually put just one big teaspoon in my tea. This is an iron tea. I'll show you. I steep my tea in this. I steep my hot water in like this tea. This is called Rosera. I don't know. My mom and my auntie make me drink it. They told me to drink it and it helps my iron. And my low iron is honestly one of the causes why I fall asleep like anywhere it's like a very sour type of bitter taste i personally like it if my cousin hates it and then i take my iron pills it is so sour but i have a headache still so i'm hoping now that i have breakfast my headache will kind of chill out 
woke up and it was gone and then it came back while I was washing my face. Yogurt. This is a lot of yogurt that I have to eat in 20 minutes. Finish. And I got about 13 minutes till my class so I can put everything away. Forgot to put sunscreen on my face. I'll put some sunscreen on and um, head out. So yay! Today was a success. How exciting. Did you have this faith in me? I was very proud of myself because it was a pretty hearty breakfast and I was full and content. And I must add, with that hearty breakfast, usually with breakfast with me when I eat, it makes me more hungry. So I eat like a breakfast and then like I go through my day and I'm more hungry throughout the day. This time I didn't feel that at all. I guess I just had like a really good breakfast. I had yogurt, I had cereal and like honey in there and I had like tea and then it was like really good. It honestly gave me more energy and kept me awake longer because you guys know I love to nap. It kept me awake longer, which was very surprising. So let's go to day three. Considering my amazingly stressful week, I decided to treat myself with a nice breakfast today. It is currently 9.57 I think, so it's still morning. I just came from my math test and that was my last math class. Did a final exam. I should have had breakfast before then, but I didn't wake up. So I have my, my blood tea. I put like one big spoon of honey in there, just letting that mix and melt in there. My iron tea, you know, you guys know by now. I have my iron pills I'm gonna take when that tea is cooled down. And then I have, let me show you my plate. So I have two breakfast sausages. And then I also have, I do my eggs really weird. I separate my eggs, whites and yellows, and that's how I eat it. I really like it that way. I started doing that like, I feel like, like three years ago, but I really like eating my eggs that way and I don't like doing it any other way. I don't like them scrambled really with the whites and the yellow separated. Try it before y'all judge me. But that's what I'm gonna eat for breakfast today. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat. What I noticed yesterday was me eating actually kept me awake longer. Yeah, it gave me more energy, so. Kind of cool. <laughs> so I made a nice hearty breakfast. It was a little later this time, this breakfast, but it was still, it was around 9.50 and then my breakfast yesterday was 8.30. So it was a little different, but I had a really hearty breakfast. Again, I had eggs and some sausage muffins, you know, and it was bomb. Bomb, oh my gosh. I've had eggs, eggs in a hot minute and it was so good. So today's brunch breakfast, I don't have school Fridays, but I still want to kind of keep this up. I'm having these sausage things and some oatmeal. We don't have milk, so unfortunately, I'm using water. Oatmeal with water, it's disgusting. Anyway, I'm gonna eat. And after I eat, I really want to film while the sun's up and make a video, so I'm excited. By now, it should be up, so go guys. It was a Monday video, and this is a Wednesday video, so it should be up. So if you haven't seen my last video, go check it out being productive today. The last day I had oatmeal and then the sausage muffins again because they were really bomb and they're really easy to make and yeah that also gave me a lot of energy and it filled me up longer actually which was my misconception. Should you be having breakfast every morning? Yes because it wakes you up, it makes your mu- there's just a lot of reasons. It wakes you up, it keeps your mind alert, it gives you energy, there's just so many reasons why you should be having breakfast and I'm saying this as if I had breakfast this morning, which I didn't, but <laughs> it is beneficial and it is really good and I'm here firsthand to tell you that you should continue to do it. I'm talking to myself right here, you should continue to do it. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. If you take anything from this video, take to be positive, take that if you had a bad day, tomorrow's gonna be a better day, and take that you should be having breakfast every morning and sleeping at a decent time, unlike me. I'm speaking to myself when I edit this. Angel, fix your life. And it's snowing. <laughs> Everyone told me coming to America, um, everyone kept saying you're gonna get the weather. Trust me, guys, it's still here. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble and remember self love is the best love. And it's not goodbye. It's see you later. Actually, Friday. <laughs> Bye, guys. If I went to heaven, they'd embrace me. I've been doing well, courtesy of all the haters. I've been doing well, yeah. I've been doing well. They asked me how my pockets felt and they were doing swell.